Hi everyone, number one Marmaduke fan here. I've been making a hard push to just read all of the cheap 50 cent comic books I bought last year. I got it in my head that, hey, I want to go support a comic book shop. And I bought like a whole bunch of 50 cent books. And I, I have kind of been regretting that decision since obviously a lot of them were not that good. That's why they were in the 50 cent bin. And the challenge for me is I don't want to just splurge out a bunch of videos for the sake of making a whole bunch of videos. I want to actually have a point to the videos I make. And what I'm thinking is if I can maybe like tighten up my comments a little bit, they'd still be, they'd still have value as maybe warning you away from dopey books or it, even if I don't like the book and can't recommend it, maybe pointing out a couple interesting things within it. So I think I'm going to do that where I'll try not to make like 20 or 30 minute videos on these things, but just kind of give you the straight thumbs up or thumbs down on it. So the eighth seal is published by IDW. Uh, it's written by James Tinian IV. And this cover is by Vanessa Del Rey, but the cover artist is not the interior artist. The pencils and inks are by Jeremy Rock. And Jeremy Rock has this very clean, straightforward, kind of empty, dull style. And Vanessa Del Rey has, I love this cover. I mean, it's creepy, but that's kind of the whole point. Like this first lady is being uh, demon possessed or she's going insane and she's seeing these creepy visions. And I like how she's this simple light form underwater. And then the, you know, the monster's kind of creepy, sort of like this primal spaghetti monster evil and they're enveloped in darkness, but it's not like hitting you over the face with a whole bunch of blood and guts. As an image, this conveys the idea of kind of like a monstrous horror really well. And she's a beautiful nude female form, but she's not hypersexualized. She's almost like, she, she's actually kind of missing uh, f female breasts there and maybe, maybe a little too androgynous. I think this is supposed to be the first lady because that's the character in the story. And I don't dig the story at all. It's pretty much just the, the first lady is uh, possessed by demons and they're going to destroy everything. Whoa, bro. Demons, man, am I right? Like from the Bible, but they're going to destroy the U.S. government. They're in the White House. Whoa, man. It's just that kind of vibe. And it's the same thing I've said over and over again about pacing your story and hit me with something. This does hit me with some stuff, but it just feels like being dark and edgy for the sake of being dark and edgy. I don't know who this character is. I don't know what's important about this story. I guess we can do a real quick cover critique because this is kind of interesting. I've already praised Vanessa Del Rey's co cover. It's sort of a traditional ink brush painting style that I like in Renaissance drawing and I think works really well. This is just like a monster bursting out of her face and there's like some blood and guts to it. So th this moment actually kind of happens in the story, but I just think this is a much more fascinating cover all by itself. The image is great. So I, I, I'm just not going to recommend this. Uh, there's This wasn't communicated well to me. I thought this was the president at first, but then he's sort of like some secret anti-demon worker or something. And there's some reuse, lazy reuse panels. So on TV, there's the panel. Zoom in on the same panel. That wouldn't happen because she's talking. She's moving her hands. It would be a different moment in time. And then uh, she starts going and saying, the demon, oh, bust out, man. Oh, but it was all just a dream, man. And then they do the same thing. Reuse the panel. Wow, ah! Breaking her jaw, screaming. And then they copy it over there. Oh, I got to find this to roast it. So they reuse the picture again on that, the Daily News. And then I kid you not, this is what this newspaper says. I'm going to kill everyone. First lady has maniac outburst live on television. Give a girl, give a go, 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 give a go, go, give a give a figure with with You can read all this. If you had written this, you could have written the first few words out and then gone into scribble mode. And if you wrote in kind of like a Lucy handwriting, it'd translate as just gobbledygook that we're not supposed to try to read. But they typed it and tried to like. There's also this weird pixelated thing everywhere. Like somewhere along the line, someone shrunk her blew up the, the art and it doesn't quite feel sharp and clear all the time. So the first lady has collapsed from this traumatic experience and she remembers she has a dream of seeing her handsome present husband in the library. But oh, oh, it's secretly a nightmare and the demons are still haunting her, yo. But she doesn't care and she just wants to have a nice dream. But then she remembers her miscarriage, yo, and the demons, the demons are so scary, yo. Oh, it's so edgy. And, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Cultural appropriation, but if you're culturally appropriating images from, like, medieval Christian history and medieval Christian art, I guess it's okay. Wow. Street Fighter G.I. Joe? Yeah, I'll, I'll go check that out. Yeah. 
That's a bit that's a bit more my vibe. Not so much like edgy, edgy demons, bro. I wouldn't have bought this if I had cared what I was picking up. I was literally just saying, okay, well, I'll support a comic book shop, so I'll just get every cover that looks kind of interesting. I'll pick that up and see what it's about. If I had bothered to flip through this, I probably wouldn't even have gotten it for 50 cents. And sadly, since I did that, I actually picked up a couple issues of this, but I don't know if I'm going to have anything productive to say about the other issues that I haven't already said about this. So, eh, the eighth seal... If you want your edge, bro, then maybe, yeah, I guess you're going to get some edge. But, eh, eh, eh. I'm number one Marmaduke fan. I love you guys. Catch you later.